says hi. Hey guys, on Facebook, I've got Facebook and Instagram happening here today. So my name is Hannah from Reality Awareness. If you guys don't know me or if this is the first time to my live stream, just say hi, let me know where you're from in the world. I'd love to hear from you. And obviously I've put in the title of today's live stream as well, talking about destiny versus choice. If everything is already mapped out for us, what is the point, right? If we are the creators of our reality, but there's already a life plan mapped out in place. Well, like, how does that work? How does, how does it work? What's the point? Why do we even create our reality if everything's already mapped out so we don't really create it then? Yeah, let's talk about this, right? If you guys have got questions about this, comment below now and let me know and I will share this and then we can really get started talking about this kind of contradictory topic, right? It's like we're trying to work out how we are in the world and how we even do this world, right? Lots of, I'm not sure what you're, I'm not sure what you're saying there, Shelly. Hey, Deborah. Okay, let me share this. So I've got Instagram and Facebook happening today. It's exciting. So someone had actually asked this question in the in my reality awareness support group. So I've actually got a lot of things I want to say about this, hence the the live stream coming out to you right now about this topic because I was like, I did write a reply and I'm like, man, I could talk about this for ages. But there is one key point that I want to talk about this, yeah? <clears throat> uh, and that is, that's okay. <laughs> so there is one like main point that I want to share about this, yeah? If everything is already mapped out for us, what's the point? If, you know, like where's the, like where's the free will? Why do we journal? Why do we create our reality? Why do we visualize? Why do we have visions? Why, you know, like, yeah. It's kind of like if we are ultimately the creators of our reality, why is there already a life path? Why do we always have this thing kind of that's already been mapped out for us? Hey, Greg, goodness, it is afternoon already. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it because it's already kind of been, it's a bit gloomy and rainy here on the coast today. So, okay. Hey, Gemma about lessons. So how do you know when something job relationship is a lesson and when to walk away? So something that's coming to mind about that is that when, and it's something that um, I heard Matt Khan talk about, and it's like lessons will keep repeating until we get the lesson, right? Things will keep repeating until we get the lesson. Now I have another kind of take on that in a sense that, and I'm not sure if you would have watched it all, um, Gemma, um, so I did a live stream a couple of, oh, on Notre Dame. Let me know if you haven't watched that live stream and all. Um, I didn't do it on Instagram, but it's up on YouTube as a replay. Let me know if you'd like the link to that. Just send me a private message afterwards. Um, it's in that space of, you know, like lessons will keep repeating until we learn them. However, my take on it is that every time we learn something spiritually, right? And this comes down to destiny versus choice, okay? When something comes up and we say we walk away, right? We're like, ah, not doing this anymore. We do the work, we shift. We're like, oh my goodness, walking away, leaving it. We know it's not right for us, right? Now, we don't always have to walk away for something to be right or for something to, you know, for us to get that lesson, right? And that kind of goes into another section. So let me just say, let's say we're walking away, okay? And we do the inner work, we shift the blocks, blah, blah, blah. And then we kind of go along life. And then all of a sudden, somebody turns up and we're like, oh my God, this is the same thing happening again. I thought I did the work. I thought this was, oh, why is this happening? I've done so much work. You know, it's kind of like, why is this showing up again? Yet what I feel in that is that we, we go along and then it's like, it'll come through again, but we can either go all the way into it or we can go, we get to this far into it, we're like, whoa, this is familiar. I've been here before. I know what happens if I continue going down this path. I'm actually not going to go that far. And at this time, 
Okay, and then we kind of move along a bit, right? And I was actually explaining this to a client the other day and I drew this drawing because I was trying to explain it, right? And then we kind of go along again and it's like, and then say we're going along in our life again and then it's suddenly that person, a different person or situation turns up and we're like, whoa, okay, I'm not even going into it this far again. I'm just gonna like, I know what that's like. I'm gonna keep going this way, okay? And the way I kind of like described it in like trying to draw it on a diagram, if I can, I don't know, try to draw it again. It's a little bit, oh, it's a bit tricky to kind of describe or draw. I don't know if that's gonna even, no, it's not even gonna give it because it's sort of, oh, it's so hard. Maybe I'll just draw what I drew and it's just like, so it's not that like we're doing something wrong or it's not that like, oh, I'm doing all this work and it didn't work or, you know, it's not that. What I can describe it as, right, is this, okay? So we're going along on, the, on my amazing diagram path. And what happens is we're going, whoops, back front camera, we're going along. And then, so like I said, that person will come in, yeah? So on this bit here, and we're like, whoa, I know what this is like. Actually, no, I'm not gonna go that far into it. And we keep going, right? Now, eventually, right, as we keep going along, these things that seemingly you know, like someone comes in like to our field or a situation, we're like, ah, oh, why is this happening? I've, I've done all this work and it's not working, right? But what actually happens is that curve gets less and less. Does that make sense? So, and then soon we'll see it coming and we're like, yeah, no, I'll just keep going straight, thank you. Okay, so what I personally believe is that if we're not doing the internal work to shift out the blocks and all that sort of thing, what happens is that we do, we go right off path again and we keep going right off path until we do the internal work that's the reason why this keeps showing up in our reality, right? And then, but as we keep doing the work, it's a bit like, oh, how would we describe it? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. The analogies that are, and what I'm seeing is, okay, perfect analogy. So, you know, if we found a crystal in the dirt, right? And it would be covered in dirt, okay? So the covered in dirt bit would be going right off path, okay? And so then we're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that happened. And then this time we're, you know, we're going along and we're like, actually, I'm going to do some internal work because I don't want to live that reality again, right? And so we do internal work. And so the, the second line path where the curve's not as big, that's when we're washing the dirt off. And it kind of, you know, like if you're washing a crystal off, it's not like it's all just going to come off and it's immaculately clean straight away, right? It takes a little bit to get all the dirt out of the cracks and, you know, all of that jazz. So what happens then is it takes, you know, a little bit and it's like, oh, I know what this feels like. Oh, no, I'm not doing that again. And we're still washing the dirt off. We're still doing the internal work. And then it's kind of like, oh, I know what that's, I'm not even going there this time, right? So it's not that patterns repeat, it's that we get stronger in staying true to ourself. It's that we get stronger in staying in that straight line. We get stronger in saying no. We work on all the internal stuff that doesn't allow us to get pulled by other people's energy. We get stronger in you know all those things that we can say no and have self-confidence and know our worth and actually go, no, not that one, this one, actually. Right, but sometimes it takes a bit of work. Sometimes it takes inner strength. It takes some. Do you know what I mean? Like we have to wash the dust off, the dirt, get it all out of the cracks. Sometimes that's ingrained thought patterns, ingrained you know structures of ways of being brought up. Do you know what I mean? So Kylie says, I think how. Just let me know if that helps <laughs> explain things a little bit for you, um, Gemma. So I think our life path is a basic outline of a direction we can take, but we have the freedom to choose to change. Yes, exactly. So awesome. Thanks for bringing that up, Kylie. So when we're talking about destiny versus choice, if everything is mapped out for us, well, what's the point, right? What actually happens in that space is that we... So this is where, again, this is where it comes into... I'm just going to get a different colour have my colors because colors are really important to me drawing and colors by the way you want to strengthen your intuition you want to strengthen your clairvoyance you want your um to be able to see colors you want to do that drawing with pens and colors all the time really important tip okay so let's do purple so when we're talking about i think it's mapped out for us but 
and um, we have the freedom to choose to change. Okay, so when we're talking about this, right, and we're like, ah, oh, why is this happening? And this thing's coming in again and again, right? The freedom to choose to change your reality. Is it why does this stuff even, why do we even go off path? Why does this happen in the first place, okay? Now this comes into all our past lives and all the karmic threads of every single person we've ever come into contact with. Hey, Carrie, with every single person that we've, you know, like got like connected with in every single lifetime, right? And this is when I say, if you choose to do the internal work, you come back into path more, right? In a sense that what's happening is that this, this path, right, destiny versus choice, okay? If we are not consciously working on releasing our blocks, on releasing the karmic ties, on releasing, you know, all the stuff that led us to this point in our life, we will continue having these curveballs thrown at us, so to speak, okay? Now, what these curveballs are are a chance to wake up. They're a chance for us to do the internal work of the blocks to get us back onto this line here, yeah? And what this is, is all the karmic threads playing out automatically in our life. Now, when we decide that enough is enough and we decide to do our internal work and clear out the karmic vows and clear out all those patterns, because this is going on all the time. Like this is why things happen in our life, because we've got these karmic threads that are like going on all the time, right? So when we can do the internal work and we're like, okay, so going to actually, you know what? I've had enough of like this karmic stuff playing out. Why is this pattern repeating? Why is this happening? Why are these certain, why is this certain energy turning up in my life all the time? So then we can like do the, you know, we're like do a past life regression vows, like all the healing structures that I have in place. It's like, okay, I'm going to clear that past life thread, going to erase that basically. Um, I'm going to take the lessons and the learnings and I'm going to release all the karmic crap that goes along with it and I've, I'm done now. Thanks. So what happens when we do this about a particular thread on the web, as I like to call them, the spider webs, is like what happens is in that we go along and that line suddenly becomes shorter. Yeah, we can, we've like released a karmic thread that's, you know, if you can imagine them like spider webs pulling you out, right? So we've got the spider web, you know what a spider web looks like, and it's like pulling out the web, right, to make the web. Yeah, when we release one of those things, it goes ding, and what happens is it comes in sooner, so as soon it comes into the straight line, the more we release these. Does that make sense? So when we're working on you know, we have the freedom to choose to change. If we don't want to do the work, if we don't want to consciously release all the, um, you know, structures and I mean, the karmic past life vows and the words that we said and the marriage vows that we said, you know, if you can even imagine, like we only live for a hundred years, well, roughly, right? Um, you know, and how many lifetimes have we had? How many marriages have there been? Like in all the eons of time gone by, how many times have you said, I love you forever, you're my one and only, like for eternity? Like how many times would you have said that in a past life, in this lifetime, yeah? Um, you can imagine and wondering why all these things keep happening. So doing the work means clearing out all these karmic threads and structures. Now you might be like going, well, fuck Hannah, that's a lot of, like, it's like kind of infathomable, really. And you're like, oh, I'm just tired thinking about that. Now there are ways to quantum heal and quantum shift these, yes? Okay, it doesn't have to be hard work, but the reality is, is that sometimes it doesn't feel nice, yeah? But the more we work on releasing this, the more this comes into this one straight line, yeah? And we become stronger energetically because we don't have all the past life threads pulling at us anymore. So energetically, we become stronger. We're not as affected by other people's energy around us. We don't, we're not pulled by our, all the karmic threads still attached to us type thing. Yeah. So the more we release and the more we do the internal work, whether it's from this lifetime or previous lifetimes, the stronger our energetic field becomes and we become stronger energetic beings. We have more confidence in ourselves. We're able to move forward. We're able to trust our intuition because we're not clouded by other people's energetic stuff that's going on. Right. So this is like your power thread, if you may, and releasing all the other threads of the cosmic west. Um, cosmic webs, <laughs> cosmic consciousness threads 
that have been attached to you for eons of lifetimes. Yeah. Now, the thing is that when we're doing this and we're talking about destiny versus choice, well, we have a choice whether we want to actually clear the threads. Now, some people say to me, I don't want to cut cords with that person because I'm afraid of losing them, right? Even if they're not in contact with them. And they say, well, I don't want to cut cords with that person because that, and I'm like, no, you're not cutting cords with the person. Like love is the thread that connects every single being on this planet through every single dimension in reality and time and space. Like love is one of the highest vibrations. You can't kind of get rid of love. What I'm talking about when you not just cut cords, but you release the karmic, threads attached to it. Cutting cords and karmic threads, a bit different, right? What you're actually doing when you're releasing that is all the energetic bleh, from all the shit that ever went down in whatever lifetime. That's the shit you don't want to carry around, right? The love will always be there because it's the thing that connects us all. It's, it's what brings us to life. Don't you want to feel the love? instead of all the crap energetically that you've been carrying around for like every single lifetime until now. Like people wonder why they're exhausted and nothing they will do will fix their chronic fatigue or tiredness. It's like, yeah, the energetic stuff that's, so I was even talk about like whatever's shifting in the like universe and the planets and all of that sort of thing. And like we're, we're growing and evolving, but all of a sudden all the light workers are like exhausted and burnt out and wondering what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Why? Because if you haven't cleaned out your energetic karma, that's a lot of heavy energy in your field. And what's happening is we're evolving and the planet's shifting into this higher vibrational planetary being. It's like, yeah, this stuff can't come with you anymore. <laughs> and, you know, and as all of us start to release these karmic threads, what happens is we're creating a reality that doesn't even have karmic threads anymore. Like, can you fathom and open your mind to the possibility of what sort of reality that even feels like? Of like living in a reality where karmic threads don't play out anymore. Karmic threads aren't, exist, aren't, aren't in existence anymore because we've shifted out of those all those eons of past lives and we're shifting out of all that uh, threads into a reality and into a life where we can actually be the creators of our reality. Where we don't have all this karmic pull back into that. So when we talk about destiny versus choice, if everything is already mapped out for us, yeah, everything's already mapped out for us here, right? This is called the free flow. This is called the super flow. This is called the, the easy life, right? When we trust our intuition and we stay on the path that feels good, that's when things flow. That's when everything unfolds. That's when we step onto the path of our life purpose, when we trust our intuition every step of the way. But when we're not cleaning out this energetic stuff, this will continue to play out and play out and play out and play out. Yeah, so it's having those tools to be able to do that. Hey, Leanne. Hey, Ali and Gemma, you're so welcome. Let me know if that helps you guys or if you've got any other questions about destiny versus choice. Uh, but that is how we literally can create our own reality. It's like everything it's like, you know, that we can do is like we can continue playing out the karmic webs and threads or we can release and do that. Now, how do you do that? It's like you don't have to walk away from a relationship to do that. You can transform the current relationship you are in by working on your internal stuff going on. And then you can make a decision because you'll probably find that once we shift out all of these things, like, oh, that stuff doesn't even bother me anymore. Right? It was coming to the service to be cleared out. Choice or no choice is destiny. Exactly, right? <laughs> Where does it come into even having a choice? Yeah? What is beyond choice? Again, this is this reality. Yeah? What is beyond here? Shifting into a whole new level of being, right? All right, so where do we find these tools? Obviously working with me helps you shift that out, but trusty intuition is your one-stop shop for all the tools you need to shift out all the past life stuff, to like, you know, heal all the relationship dynamics, to tap into the depths of your intuition. Trusty intuition is where you find that, right? Trusty intuition is got 
every single tool that you will ever need to trust the intuition in the clearest way and the structure and the format of being able to do that. So yes, it's like having all these spiritual tools and yeah, like let's to meditate and call in angels and cut cords. But if we're not doing it in a specific kind of systematic structure, you're going to kind of miss bits, right? Now, it's not about being strict on the structure because intuition doesn't work like that. Intuition is not a logical format. It is not a strategy. And trust intuition is laid out so you can trust your intuition with what your intuition is guiding you to do without the influence of all this stuff going on. Yeah? You have this clear run to create that. Yeah? So the link, I'm going to pop it in the comments now in... Facebook Live, because I'm in Facebook Live now, and I'm in, trust, in in Instagram. I haven't done it in Instagram Live for ages, and now i got like this new lighting and new tripods, so I'm like, yeah, I can do both at the same time now. So let me pop this link in the comments there now for you guys. If you've got any questions about it, there is a six-month early bird plan available only for another 24 hours or so, just over 24 hours to jump into Trusted Intuition. There's a six month early bird payment plan there. And then the investment goes up on Sunday night, Australian Eastern Standard Time. So you can send me a message about that. So Leanne says, Trusted Intuition is amazing. Hannah is so supportive and gives us so many tools to shift us a big time. Yeah, if you want the tools for life, like I'm not your healer. I am not someone you come to, to fix you. I teach you the tools how to shift you for life because that is how we continue to trust that intuition and move forward to create the reality we want, right? Because what you find is the reality that you want to create is actually this alignment of your heart and soul anyway. It isn't something that you have to create. It's something that you align to and clear out every crap of block along the way. Having the tools for life to be able to do that, not someone you have to go and see a healer for all the time and go and fix you, no. And so, by the way, if you don't wanna do the work, trusting intuition is not for you. But if you want the tools for life to be able to shift you whenever you need to in any given moment in time, whenever someone else shows up in your field, you're like, whoop, I know what tool to do so I can stay here on this straight line, yeah? On the line that feels good of your heart and soul and your destiny, that is your soul's purpose and that isn't something you need to create, it's just something you need to align to then trust the intuition is for you. So those of you on Instagram, send me a message if you'd like more information about trusted intuition. The investment does go up tomorrow evening, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can also send me a message as well. If you're on YouTube, remember to hit like and subscribe. And if you guys think that anybody can benefit from this, you can tag their name in the comments. You can send it to them in a private message. Uh, otherwise, you can share it on your page as well. I love you guys heaps. Have a beautiful weekend. I shall see you soon. Namaste.